washing my hands, which we all should be doing a lot right now. And I'm making a pretty good lather with the soap, and we're going to do an experiment with some soap. So ivory soap has always been known as the soap that floats. And it does in fact float. So if you're in the tub and you lose your soap, it's going to be buoyant. But the thing is, that was actually an accident. There was a machine that would pump air into the soap and whoever was in charge of that machine at the factory actually left it on and I think took his lunch break or something and it pumped more air into the soap than it should have had. But it was what we like to call a happy accident. The company actually liked that and started using it as part of their slogan, the soap that floats. So, because this is a soap that has extra air in it, this next experiment is possible only with ivory. Trust me, if I put any other bar of soap in here, it would sink, and it also would not... All that digging, all that digging, and it was the wrong side of the grave. See, Jamal, I don't know about you, but I think we'll just raise the dead tomorrow. No, Matthew. Uh, Matthew. Huh? Not tomorrow, Matthew. That is a scene. Will you find another grave this time? No! I found a body! Uh, a body! Oh. Well, let's get to work then. is put the ivory in the microwave and actually in hindsight I'm going to cut that bar in half because a full bar is going to be way more than we need for this experiment. So we cut the bar in half because for this experiment half a bar is plenty and we're going to put it in the microwave and it is going to expand. Now I'm putting it on some paper towels so that it doesn't make a really big mess and we're just going to stick it in there and then put it in for maybe a minute or so. And I know it's a little bit hard to see through there, but when it heats up, all those air pockets are going to make it expand. All that extra air that's been pumped into the soap. And you can see it's starting to do that. It's going to create a uh, cloud. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. It's making a cloud right there. And we'll let it go for a little bit longer. And then we'll take a look. And now it is hot to the touch initially. So we're, wow, look at that. See, if I had put the full bar in there, it might have totally gummed up my microwave. Oh, wow. We'll let it come around one more time and then we'll take a look at it. Look at that. So it does start to um, shrink when it cools, and you can see it's already starting to do that. But look at that cloud. I mean, that was just half a bar of soap. That's really amazing. And you can feel um, that it's very light. And honestly, the, the texture reminds me of a diaper. It's what it kind of feels like. Um, so this is the ivory soap cloud. I do the door and all around the wall A splotch, a blotch, be careful of the blob Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor 